Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. I'll be sharing with you 10 of my favorite fruity fragrances at the moment. I've been reaching for these fragrances so often, guys. I haven't really been pulling for too many of my floral and rose fragrances. You guys know that I absolutely love rose, but fruity fragrances, those are my ride or die. I started wearing fruity fragrances at the very beginning of my fragrance journey. I told you guys before, I'm from the Bronx. I didn't grow up around flowers, so I wasn't familiar with how floral smelled other than rose. But fruity fragrances was my first introduction to fragrances. Everything that had a fruit, that was me, sign me on up. Sign me up for all the fruity body sprays. I had them lined up all on my dresser. I just love fruity fragrances. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some new, some um, old faithful, ride or die, some niche, some designer, just a collection of 10 awesome fruity fragrances that I think that you guys should know about. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. Guys, before we get into the list, Please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you thumbs up the video so I know you like my content. Leave me a comment, ask me questions. We can get to know each other and it'll just be a good time. So now let's get on with the video. First fragrance on our list is Banana Banana by Le Artisan Perfumer. Guys, this is a beautiful banana scented fragrance. If you love anything that smells like a banana, then this fragrance is for you. My girl from Abby with Love here on YouTube, she raves about this fragrance. It's one of her favorite fragrances and for good reason because it is an amazing scent. It's long lasting on my skin. I'm getting about seven to eight hours on my skin. I layer with a banana scented body yogurt from the body shop. It's your whole banana life. Like you wanna smell bananas? <laughs> then this is the one for you it's so good guys oh my goodness and the notes that's in this is banana leaf it's not actually the yellow banana fruit but this smells like a sweet banana to me let me tell you the notes there's violet leaf there's pepper there's banana flower iris jasmine amber tonka bean and musk it's a very gorgeous banana scent guys you see that mister Guys, this smells like a banana Laffy Taffy, like straight up. Banana Laffy Taffy, I think Abby said that as well. I think I heard someone say that. But this smells like a banana Laffy Taffy. If you're not familiar with Laffy Taffy, any banana flavored candy that you can think of, that's what this smells like. But a little bit more complex, a little bit more deep. It's not just a super sweet banana scented fragrance. This can be unisex. I can see a man wearing this as well. It doesn't pull extra masculine or feminine on my skin. It's just a unisex scent. On me, it's lovely. I don't get any masculine vibes. It's definitely a beautiful scent. Banana Banana by Le Artisan Perfumer. So keeping in the theme of banana, now we have Vanille Banane by Comtour Sud Pacifique. This is sweeter than the Banana Banana. For me, this is a feminine scent, but I've heard men talk about this here on YouTube. Um, Big Beard Business actually did a video on this recently. Guys, this is my summer go-to. Let me tell you these notes. It opens up with orange, there's banana, there's whipped cream, banana leaf, vanilla, and white rum. Guys, do you hear these notes? When I read these notes before I got this fragrance, I was like, oh my God, this is about to smell like heaven on earth. <sighs> this is so freaking beautiful, guys. My only issue with this fragrance is that I wish the banana stayed around a little longer. When you first spray this fragrance, you get that sweet banana, that zesty orange, the sweet whipped cream. It's so creamy and yummy and good. It does dry down beautiful as well. It dries down to a vanilla and rum fragrance. It is a gourmand scent. It's a nice summer gourmand, um, spring or summer gourmand actually. But guys, this is so good. Definitely need to try to get your nose on this. I believe they carry this at Sephora and you can order samples from the Comptour Sud Pacifique website. Guys, it's so beautiful. It's an EDT, so it's not gonna stay on your skin for hours and hours and hours. But I do layer with my banana um, lotion as well, my banana body yogurt. So I'm extending the life of the banana just a little bit more. But guys, this is such a beautiful scent. It's so sweet, so fruity. That banana, the orange, and then that rum dry down with vanilla. <sighs> Listen, guys, let me spray this again. You know what this smells like? This smells like banana pudding. 
If you've ever had a really good banana pudding with bananas and vanilla wafers and whipped cream, that is what this smells like, a yummy banana pudding. And I love banana pudding. If you love banana pudding, leave it in the comments below, hashtag banana pudding, guys. Banana pudding without the cinnamon. So it's not spicy or anything like that. It's just boozy and fruity and sweet. It's an absolutely beautiful fragrance. Vani Banan by Comptor Sud Pacifique. Okay, so I'm done with the bananas. So now we have Forbidden Games by Killian. Another fruity bomb, beautiful, sweet fragrance. These notes, the fruity notes that's in this fragrance, there's peach, there's apple, and there's plum. Then there's cinnamon, it's a little spicy. There's rose, there's jasmine, there's honey. There's vanilla. Guys, this is a beautiful scent. I wish that this fragrance lasted on my skin like 10, 12 hours. It doesn't, but it smells so good. Now, with this fragrance, it's one of those fragrances that I know that I'm not going to get a super long beast mode performance. And I'm not going to get a super long scent trail. But, I mean, it smells so good that I just absolutely love it and I needed to have it in my collection. I have a decant of this. I actually have one of those deluxe samples by Killian. So whenever I'm wearing this fragrance, I pop the sample in my purse and just get my life because it's such a beautiful, beautiful, sweet scent. Let me see if I have a place that I can spray this on. <sighs> Guys, now the peach is prominent in this fragrance. Like you definitely smell the peach on the opening. The peach is very prominent in this fragrance. So I know a lot of you guys say that you don't like peaches in your fragrances, or like peaches don't work on your skin. So if you're not a fan of peach, then you may not like this one because you definitely smell the peach in the opening. But this is spicy, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's sexy. This is a date night in the summertime. This is a brunch, this is a high tea. This is a wherever you wanna go and where this fragrance it smells so good then you'll pull for Forbidden Games by Killian. Guys, you don't understand how excited I am right now to be doing this video. I'm smelling all these fruits and I'm getting so happy. <sighs> okay, so we left from the banana to the peaches and the apples and the plums to guess what? Another one of my absolute favorite fruits, the pineapple. Guys, this is none other than Lamar by Kajab. Guys, if you love a pineapple note, you just need to get this fragrance right now. Trust me, okay? And I said, trust. <laughs> this fragrance is so beautiful. Okay, so let me tell you how I purchased this fragrance. When I purchased my Dolce & Gabbana pineapple, I was on the hunt for pineapple fragrances. I wanted everything with the pineapple. Give me all the pineapples, okay? So you know how your phones do when you're searching certain things in your phone, then your phone just automatically suggests things to you. Like my phone is a bad influence on me. So Kajal Lamar came up on my phone and I was like, wow, like what is this? Is this from Dubai? Like this just looks like a Middle Eastern, just beautiful like piece of art. And I read the notes and I was like, okay, yes, bet. I'm gonna need that. It's not sold in any stores by me. It would have to be a blind buy. And guys, I'm not a blind buyer. Like before I spent my money on it, I was like, I wanna know about this fragrance. So I did a YouTube search. And at the time when I searched this fragrance, only men were talking about this fragrance. So I found a guy on YouTube. I don't remember his name, but I will link his link below along with his channel. He has some type of deal with Kajal and he has a 10% discount code. So I put the code in, I used the code and that's how I was able to get my Lamar and I also have Dahab, which we'll talk about in another video. So I'm gonna leave that code in the description box. It's 10%, guys, every little bit helps. And then I saw all my girls talking about it. My girl Spicy Looks, my girl Alala Beauty, my girl Nika. So you know I talk about my Dolce & Gabbana pineapple, which I love, that's a beautiful scent. That pineapple is different from this pineapple. So my Dolce & Gabbana pineapple is a more sweet, juicy pineapple. This is also sweet and juicy, but it has more depth to it. It smells more round, it smells more deep. And the best part, guys, this fragrance lasts on your skin forever. Forever. Guys, this isn't going anywhere. It's so long lasting. It's beast mode projection. It's beast mode performance. The pineapple lasts the entire life of the fragrance. You want me to repeat that? <laughs> the pineapple lasts the entire life of the fragrance. So you don't have to worry about taking a decant or you know, spraying super heavy. You can spray heavy if you want to, 
um but you don't have to so it's that it's that good guys i'm telling you so let me tell you the notes there's it opens up with pineapple there's red berries there's apple there's cardamom there's coriander bulgarian rose turkish rose there's magnolia there's vanilla there's amber there's cedar there's moss there's musk a bunch of notes in this fragrance guys and i layer it with my bath and body works um coconut and pineapple cream <laughs> listen listen it's so good okay i've spent way too much time on this fragrance lamar by kajal so if you want to smell like super bubble hubba bubba bubblicious anything bubbly any bubble gum then this is the fragrance for you guys okay so this fragrance they purchased this fragrance for me this is a fragrance that i just had to have in my collection because aside from the fact that i do love the smell of bubble gum i thought this bottle was really cute so initially when I saw this bottle, I was like, seriously, Moschino, like how old are we? Like we're grown, like we're grown, grown. Why? But then the more I kept seeing it, I was like, oh my goodness, it's so cute. Like I need this bottle. And then I saw my girl Nika talking about this and she raved about it. And Nika is a niche queen. So when I saw her with this fragrance, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get that fragrance because if she loves it and she's the niche queen, then this fragrance made it into her collection, then it must be worth something. Guys, this is so pretty. It's a bubblegum scent. It's a fun, easy, kick around, not doing too much. You're going to the family barbecue. You want to smell like bubblegum. All your friends and family are going to be asking you, who's chewing gum? Are you chewing gum? That's this fragrance right here. Now the bubblegum scent doesn't last the entire life of the fragrance, boo. But I mean, it's still a very pretty scent and it dries down super, super fruity. So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with candied fruits. Then there's bitter orange, there's lemon, there's bubblegum, there's rose, there's blueberry, there's peach, cinnamon, there's ginger, there's peach blossom, there's ambroxan, musk, and cedar. Guys, it's a fruity, tropical, sweet fragrance. It's so pretty. It's so super pretty. Like, I just had to have this. I had to add it to my collection. It also comes with, a, well, not comes with, but you can purchase from the Moschino website a bubble, um, bubble wash a body wash and a body lotion they purchased this from the moschino store and i was like i'm gonna go online and order the the layering you know the the body wash and the body lotion but i haven't done it yet i'm not sure i probably won't do it but um this is such a beautiful scent it's if you like the scent of bubble gum this smells like true bubble gum like i'm telling you you're gonna wear this and people are gonna be like who's chewing gum like seriously but like I said, the bubblegum scent doesn't last through the entire life of the fragrance, but it dries down super fruity. It's a very fruity and musky scent. It's really pretty, guys. Definitely pretty. And I love this bottle now. Like, it's so cute. It's a toy. Like, it's so cute. So, Toy 2 by Moschino. Next up, we have Temptatio by none other than Paolo Terenzi. Guys, I don't know how to pronounce. It's not V Canto. It's Quinte Canto. I'm not sure. But guys, this right here, she's a beast listen this fragrance is so good like this is something that i would wear to a wedding i'd wear to someone's like big birthday bash or just a special event this is a fragrance that you pull out the vault like you pull her out the vault because she's just that special this smells so good guys and this is also sold on soavantgarde.com so you can use my 20 percent discount code to purchase this fragrance if you're interested guys it smells so good let me tell you the notes listen to these notes when i tell you the notes you're gonna want this fragrance. It opens up with lemon, there's orange, there's ylang ylang, there's Bulgarian rose, iris, violet, cinnamon, there's raspberry, there's peach, there's passion fruit, ambergris, sandalwood, vanilla. Guys, this is powdery, it's musky, it's tropical, it's super sweet, it's fruity. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. When I say long lasting, like add on 10 more hours to that long lasting. Guys, this is such a special fragrance. I wanna wear this so bad to an event where I can create a memory. Now let me tell you, I love all of the fruity fragrances on this list, but there's some fruity fragrances that are so super special. They're just fragrances that you wanna wear to, like I said, special events. Like, do you have those? I mean, I will wear whatever I want whenever I want. Like, yeah, like we all do that. It's some that I don't reach for that often because I'm like, you need to be pulled out on a super special occasion because that's how special this fragrance is. This smells so good. OMG. <sighs> Can I tell you something? 
Okay. This smells similar to Tabit by Tiziana Terenzi, but I like this better. So next we have another passion fruit bomb and that's Kirk by Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, this is a super syrupy sweet fragrance. It smells almost like candy, but it's super sweet with fruits. I could have put damn near my entire Tiziana Terenzi collection in this video because Tiziana Terenzi fragrances have so many fruits. Paolo Terenzi does fruits right. He just loves working with fruits, I can tell, because there's always a bunch of fruits in his fragrances. Let me tell you the notes. There's passion fruit, it opens up with passion fruit. There's peach, there's pear, there's raspberry, there's cassis, there's sand, there's lily of the valley, there's musk, there's vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and heliotrope. So in that opening, it just hits you like boom, pow, fruit, fruit, fruit. Like so many fruits in this fragrance. But guys, it's so beautiful. And the fruits last the entire life of the fragrance these fruits aren't fading away <sighs> this is a beast it's very long lasting guys kirk by tiziana terenzi you need this in your life and if you're interested you can use my 20 percent discount code on so avantgarde.com to save 20 percent on this fragrance if you don't already own it but i feel like a lot of people own this fragrance oh okay next now we have Lintz. Now this is a fruity fragrance, but guys, this smells more powdery and more musky and more nutty. Although it has a ton of fruits in this fragrance, you can still smell some of the fruits, but the powderiness and the muskiness and the nuttiness mixed with those fruits, it's a softer experience for Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. So you know like how Kirk is a beast? Deluxe beast. I mean, we can go down the line, like they're all beasts. But fragrances like Lin Che and Andromeda. Andromeda is a beast, but she's also like a soft beast. This is actually softer than Andromeda for me, in my opinion. My experience with this fragrance is not the typical Tiziana Terenzi experience. However, it's still a long lasting fragrance. It's still a beautiful scent, but it's just not gonna greet people before you do. You know what I mean? Let me tell you the notes. So there's bergamot, there's orange, there's grapefruit, there's star anise. There's a uh, green tea, there's jasmine, there's fig, there's orange blossom, there's rose, sandalwood, vanilla flower, vanilla bean. It's a fruity scent, but it's a different take on a fruity scent. That's why I wanted to add it to this list because all fruits aren't created equal. Like, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. Lince by Tiziana Terenzi. So next on the list, we have Draco. Draco. So, she make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap. So next on the list, we have Draco. And guys, the pear is the star of the show for me in this fragrance. If you love a juicy, sweet... <sighs> wow. I mean, just wow. This is why I have so many fragrances. This is why. Because whenever I smell something that smells so good, it's hard for me to contain myself. I love things that smell good. I love fragrances, I love home fragrances, I love people that smell good, I love anything that smells good. And it's just my weakness, it's literally my kryptonite. Like I cannot concentrate when I smell things that smell so good. It makes me just wanna buy all the fragrances, I only have one body, but give me all the fragrances and send them to me too. <laughs> so in this fragrance we have bergamot, we have lemon, we have orange, we have green notes, we have peach, we have jasmine, cedar, patchouli, we have magnolia, vanilla, tonka, musk, pear, and heliotrope. Although the pear is in the base of this fragrance, you smell it throughout the entire, like you spray this fragrance and you just smell pear. <sighs> Guys, if you love a juicy pear fragrance, if you love a juicy pear note, I mean, you smell other things other than pear in this fragrance, but for me, I love this fragrance because I do smell the pear and the vanilla. It's such a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. It's fresh. It's citrusy. It's a fragrance that you can wear all year round, in my opinion. Even though it has lemon and it opens up kind of citrusy, it's still a very deep, complex fragrance. Complex and deep enough for me that I can wear it all year round. There's musk, there's vanilla. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. And I mean, I don't need to tell you that you can use my 20% discount code, the great 20 on soulavantgarde.com and save 20% on this fragrance. Ugh. Everything. It's everything. Draco by Tiziana Terenzi.
Next on the list is Versace Dylan Blue. Guys, for me, this is a highly complimented fragrance in my collection. Whenever I wear this fragrance, I get compliments. Guys, the sillage and centrail on this fragrance is like no other. Like, you would not believe that Versace, you know, this was like a hundred and... I don't remember, but it's not... I mean, it's pricey, but it's not like a niche prices kind of pricey. But for me, like how it works on my skin... The performance is so good. Whenever I wear it, I get compliments. It leaves a beautiful scent trail. It leaves you in a scent bubble. The star of the show in this fragrance right here is Green Apple. It's a sour but sweet Granny Smith apple. Guys, it's so, so pretty. Let me read you these notes. It opens up with Granny Smith apple. There's black currant. There's clover. There's peach. There's rose, jasmine, musk, woods, and patchouli. Guys, it's a very beautiful scent. I feel like it's slept on. I feel like everybody should be talking about this fragrance because it's such a pretty, fruity, sweet fragrance. I wore this fragrance the other day and I got my car washed. And I go to the hand car wash. So, you know, they go inside your car and clean your car, whatever. The car wash guys were like, it smells so good in here. It's not like I recently sprayed and then went to the car wash. I did other things, I believe, that morning and then I went to the car wash. But this, like, fills up the entire car. So, yeah, this is a beautiful one, guys. Versace Dylan Blue. So last but not least, I wanted to end this video with Pulp by Byredo. Guys, this is a fruity fragrance, but this isn't a fruity fragrance for everybody. This is not a blind buy type of fruity fragrance. This is not a fruity fragrance that everyone is going to love. This is a very different scent, and that's the reason why I purchased it. It's unique. I wanted to have a few unique scents in my collection. And the funny thing is, all the unique fragrances, well not all, but two unique fragrances in my collection actually come from the house of Byredo. 11th Hour is another different scent for me and also Pulp, but I love it. And I also have the body cream to it. Guys, it's green, it's musky, it's fresh, it's clean, it's sweet. There's a lot going on with this fragrance. It's just very different. Let me read you the notes. There's black currant, there's bergamot, there's cardamom, there's fig, there's red apple, there's tiare flower, there's praline, peach blossom, and cedar. Guys, upon reading the notes before I got this fragrance, I didn't know what this was going to smell like. <laughs> because I'm like, it's spicy, it's woody, but then it should be super sweet. It's just, I feel like the notes are all over the place. But it smells so different, but it smells so good. Definitely a fruity fragrance that's not a safe flying by. It's not for everybody. But like I said, I wanted it in my collection because it's different. I like having more variety in my fragrance collection. I don't want to have all one type of fragrance. I don't want to have all beast mode. I don't want to have all date night. I don't want to have all fem Like, I just want to have a collection that's just well-versed. So this definitely needed to be in my collection. Hope by Byredo. Okay, guys, I hope you guys are still here because this is a very long video. Now, show me that you're still here, my ride or die, true ride or die friends on here. Leave some fruits in my comment section so I know you guys stayed until the end of this five-hour video. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to be, guys, but I feel like I was talking so much because these fruits get me so excited. That's what fruits and fragrances can do for me. So, anywho's. Let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Let me know what are some of your favorite fruity fragrances. I'm sure you love fruity fragrances. Do you love fruity fragrances? I think everybody loves fruity fragrances, right? I mean, whatever. Let's talk about it, guys. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.